There you go. So now I would like to ask uh, our panelists, of course, so that we can uh, better promote no, uh, the participants of the World Travel Expo to introduce uh, themselves, our panelists, so we can uh, direct the questions later on uh, to them uh, regarding their activities or promotions or what they want to introduce to the public. Uh, during the World Travel Expo. So let's start with the uh, lady over to the to my extreme right. Um, let's uh, give her the mic. There you go. So at this point, we'll be uh, introducing uh, themselves actually so that everybody can address the questions later on. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Pacific Asian Travel Association, Philippines LPU Student Chapter, uh, I'd like to greet everyone a pleasant morning. Um, I am Leila Ivon Radam and I'm the Director for External Affairs and I'm here to represent our school and hope to bring the students to this wonderful event to give them the opportunity and expose them to different tourism and hospitality sectors. It's our second year to partner with World Travel Expo and we saw how our students have grown and they were able to practice what they have learned when they went to that event and they were also able to enjoy the booths and purchase from them and partner with them as well. So that is all and I look forward to having connections with you so thank you thank you miss Naila. um let's give her a big round of applause there you go yes our uh, students from lexine yes will be helping us out uh during the registration correct we'll be ushering people in so thank you so much for that okay good morning everyone so I am Bessie Modesto from Waterfront Hotels and Casino. So through the World Trade Expo, uh, we will be able to introduce and promote our properties located in Cebu and Davao uh, and coming soon in Manila. So we can uh, make the, the dream vacation uh, a reality. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Bessie. I was uh, reminiscing a while ago. We had a wedding at the waterfront uh, where our guests stayed. There's Spaniards, by the way. <laughs> but the actual wedding was done in, a, in an island. But the jump off point is waterfront. So that's where they stayed. Okay, and moving on to another beautiful lady. Hi, what an amazing day, everyone. And we're from Echo Planet. I'm Kim. I'm from the marketing, and I'm with Josh. He's from sales. So, what Apple and Planet have joined the previous Travel Expo. This is not just to showcase what Apple Planet can bring, but also to bring the tourism and make it known that uh, the Philippines has these world-class uh, attractions and places to go to, of course, here in the Philippines. So, we can hone in visitors from within and, of course, from outside the country as well. So, we need to um, lift up the tourism here in the Philippines and Travel Expo is a big opportunity to show that. Thank you. There you go. Thank you, Miss Kim from Aqua Planet in Pampanga. Ma'am, from RCBC, yes. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. I'm Eileen Biko, uh, Chief Commercial Officer of RCBC Bank Card Services Corporation. And we're happy, it is our pleasure to co-present the 7th World Travel Expo with Adisha. We are excited to invite our cardholders to go to the event at Wat Ayala and avail of special travel packages for them. Uh, travel need not be uh, heavy on the pocket. Uh, they can expect a 0% installment at some exhibitors. And if uh, the merchant does not accept installment, our website and our app, uh, has a functionality that can uh, enable them to convert their uh, travel purchases in installment. Now, for non-customers of ours who will be at the exhibit, you can, they can apply uh, in our booth there, uh, and the processing will be done real-time, so they can get immediate results for their applications. Thank you. 
Thank you, Ms. Maylene from RCBC. Definitely an exciting part of the exhibits. Uh, activities will be uh, the, the the perks that you offer from RCBC for our travelers, yan, yung mga wanderers. And then let's move on. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Melvin Ustiniano. I'm the resort manager of Media Excellence Beach and Waypool Resort. Well, this is our first time to be a part of the World Travel Expo. We're very, very excited. Uh, we understand that the tourism sets back now very progressive for 2023, and we hope that this event will help us as we uh, continuously develop also our business. We just started our, our the resort, the operations last May 2022, and currently I would say we're very, very aggressive in terms of um, uh, fulfilling uh, good tourism to Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Melvin. Where is uh, Vinya Excellence? Did I say it right? Did I say it right? Yes, that's yeah. right. Uh, it's located in Tanzaka. Ah, okay. Well, the the resort itself has been has been in Tanzaka since 1990. Currently, uh, the third owner currently fully developed the resort, and uh, we're the third management right now. Okay, great. Thank you. And moving on to this uh, handsome guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Good morning, everybody. My name is Steve Howe from the Philippine Tourism and Travel Magazine. Uh, we're very honored to be able to be involved in this wonderful event, and we previously have been uh, introduced <coughs> into the event in the de previously in Davao, which was fantastic to go to a new venue. And I think that's the whole point is that we're actually spreading the word almost around the country and with an event that introduces and encourages people to come in to promote what they're doing. And as a magazine, and we are a printed magazine, which is obviously almost old school these days, although I think that actually everybody is realizing that having a printed magazine is, is a very, very valuable asset. We rely upon social media, which is a wonderful way of being able to promote activities and events. But having a printed media is important because it's something that has a longevity as well, and we hope to be able to produce a really powerful and uh, quality product as well. And we want to work in partnership to network with you guys, and also to be able to promote the events that you do and the activities you do in a way that actually extends out of the country. I think it's also about raising the expectations of what the country can do for visitors coming in from local, from regional, national and international. And as we grow forward and go into 2024, I think we need to be on a platform where we're really raising our game and offering a really great quality product. Thank you. Thank you. That's uh, Sir Steve for you. Thank you for loving our country and our culture, yes. Thank you so much for that. And